Yo, termite, my wish when you drive out. You can't broke down. Front of your flat spear, you don't have none. And when you go out, you go look upon the damage. The Almighty make a heavy rain come down. Hold oh, there. A bad general, my name. Watch your toe locks. The 876 Rebel. My two cents. I'm a one lucky in panic. You understand how the thing go? Bad general says so. Sing again, sing again. I want them again. So didn't I tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm is coming. Lion Queen, yo, we want them again. So didn't we tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm is. Yo, 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 yo. Listen up. Blessed. Welcome to another episode of the My Two Cents Podcast. I'm your host, Tulax, the 876. Rebel, and as usual, today's episode will be brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except fingerprinting. We also offer the finest and best in embroidery services in the island. Check us out at 876-898. Nine triple eight, and also to get access to the updated merchandise, you can just simply follow us at Rebel Thirteen Collections on Instagram. Also brought to you by Kaizen Oils. Some of their oils include Meadowgrass for itch, Rosie for beard and scalp hair growth, and Wildfire for natural lubrication. Each part of making Kaizen oil products are done by hand, from planting to bottling. Kaizen underscore oils. Check them out on Instagram. Still a remind item, check out Curly Lux book, available on all digital platforms. Available in Jamaica at jamaicadeals.com. Come. All right, blessed. Now you have this viral video where I go around. May I assume, say, most of the items would have familiar with that video there already. See, but if you're not familiar, I'm going to try to put the link in the comment section or put the link in the description. See, so you know more to the do. Go in the comment section and tell me where. Uno si I'm not blind. As the video start, the girl in question, they they fight. May I tell you where me see, you know? See, because I cannot play this video. YouTube, the maga figure on the thing, and I cannot bother with the stress. See? So, I don't bother me about that something there. Right? As the video start, a girl rush her. And if you watch the video good, remember me telling you, know, watch and come up with your own conclusion. Tell me in the comment section if I blind me blind. As the video start, when the girl rush her, she spin around and deliberately fling the pink in her ground. She always used to be there as a shield. What the fucking kind of mother is that? Usually, a real mother, based upon maternal instinct, should have clutched the baby. And if a ten of them a beat her, she take them lick them and protect the baby. Matter of fact, from the minute the baby born, your maternal instinct born with that baby there. So with a girl are doing a video there, to a total fuckery. And before me, Talk about the situation, I just want the naysayers to know. So I'm fully aware of the fact that the whole entire situation, the altercation, everybody were dead around. Especially those who just video and do nothing, they're not partner fight. But guess what? They're not bargain for that. That action comes as a result of the mind your own business culture. The people that make the video them. Simply a mind them own business because that's how we are being cultured now. After all of that go on, you know how it go already in a society. We cannot believe it up to now. This girl was immediately found by the Jamaica Observer. And who oh, oh, no, no, I gonna believe this? Watch this. My name is Kimberly Pedia, a reporter at the Jamaica Observer. So, um, can you go ahead and tell me your name for the record? I am Kimia Barton and I am 21. Alright, so Kimia, we saw where a viral video went on, on social media where you were involved in a fight and you tossed the baby on the ground and then lifted the baby back up with um, one arm. Can you take us through what happened that night? I was out at the road and when I was at the road, when I was at the road, 
um, a girl named Onika, she teeth my baby clothes and when she take them, me they accost them and want them back. And Shabanese, one girl named Shabanese take up the argument, which she now come on me had to take my baby clothes. Then they call Talia because through then was a Talia they always a bully me, that I'm a baby, that I'm a baby cousin. Then when Talia come, she started to cuss me and class me and call me all type of names. Me cuss her back, me tell her things, she tell me things and then she come down and she chop me, started to fight me. She fist me and when she fist me, she fist me out of my hand, she start beat me, me tell her real bad, none of them now video that. You see how? When I'm entitled to a good excuse, then I ram for use it. A woman said, they fist me. And when she fist me, it fist the video. I wish I wish I could have played that video. Because YouTube has got a ramp with man. I'm not there for that. The woman, listen all that girl is wicked, you know. She said, the girl thump her and it fist the video. Out her and I want to know, watch the video and tell me if somebody Fist that baby out of the girl's hand. Hmm? When you're wicked, you're wicked. Now, boom, but on a stop, create excuse. For them, woman, yeah. I want, I most lie, me ever see a girl sit down and tell in a long, long time. She done L.A. Lewis career. Hmm? L.A. Lewis don't tell her that lie. It no make no sense. It not catch on. That girl, you beat her. She kick the shit out of your lying career. Kimmy a Lewis around the road now. Forget where you're about lying. This is a girl I can teach lying classes. May I beg you to please watch back the video. I be like a girl I come, come sit down and I talk. And guess what? According to what I got shown after I don't play that video, you don't know how believe it. The age old woman can't run. The age old, oh, I must something make she do it. Continue. Because our company, they video it. They know the video when she had beat me. When me feel dizzy because of sea friction, me do and me have pressure on all of them because something there. So, me feel dizzy, me never do want really drop the baby, me never do want drop the baby. Because but true, me feel dizzy, me don't want her to get no serious damage. So, me I try to put her down, but true, I want iPhone they have, they take it to make it look like say, I just drop me drop the baby. So. And then video it and them set it in their own way because of iPhone, them have, no. The video went viral because you want to kill this mama. We fling up in the pan ground. Grab up your by one hand, roughly. The grab you grab up a baby alone could have drag out him or her arm out of socket the way you're angry. You fling the pan the ground for prove a point. Say, oh, none of the girl are mad like me. King Kong, fling up in the ground, beat your chest. Me mad, me angry now. I kill you now. So the point where I try to prove is this. If me fling me own a pan the ground and do that, where the fuck me I got to do no? At that point, they either try to prove. Stop bum buck like you line up this big lot. All I come claim about an iPhone the people them have. So they set it to make it look one way. That's just a plain and straight video. If you did use Android, I see me till I come out. And you try to put on it, baby, for the baby me not harm. Then you fling the baby. No phone for earth couldn't make you fling that baby. So. No special effect. Spielberg them couldn't bomb like that. that. Then can make you fling down a pink me where you never fling down. Hmm? You have a wicked girl. So how is the baby doing? We realize that the CPSFA has the baby in the care now. Did you send in the baby? Yes. I sent her in. Because me know me not wrong. Because me know me not wrong and me not run away because me love my baby and me know me not wrong. This is a regular habit where they normally do. To my baby. They even tell the boy Rashid, don't mind the baby. Me have to buy baby clothes by my own. Me not trouble them move out of the house because me live with them rent one house myself. One one room and I start my life. I catch up me here them and I get my little things them. I look at my change for buy pampas and stuff. They not give baby nothing. Oh no check it. It is always somebody else's fault. When it comes to accountability with them gala. You know me I tell you no man, respect on a cocky bro. Respect on a bum buckler cocky. A full time on a start, respect your wood bro. You can't take your wood and place it anywhere. Some people not for breed. At all. And the woman them need to start respect them. Because I know me I'll see it in the comment section. But guess what? Y'all don't respect your pussy. 
You know, for occur into hypertension. So once you get your hyper and your attention, you see the stress will come after that. And the belly and the rest of something the man, the man cut left you. Deal with it. Men, start respect on you know, a bum and buck like old. Women like them, they don't deserve no. They don't deserve a man. They don't deserve a post, a dog. And at the end of the day, when she get an interview, oh, I because them as a text set for me. You find an excuse rather than just come out and be a woman and say, listen, I was so angry. Me never have a clue when me did that do. There's levels to anger, you know. You have the anger where you get so mad, the world black out. You come like when you're drunk. A people tell you where you're going with after you come back to yourself. You have the level of anger there too. And I probably that reach she. And the fact that there was no maternal instinct whatsoever present in the situation tells you a lot about that girl. Respect on the wood, brother. Respect on the wood. It's so easy you could have lose your youth. You think say so you left your youth with a mother. Me don't know the situation with the father and how it go. But you think you left the youth safely with them mother, don't? These days, them kill this girl, the majority of them. Them are no mother, bro. Respect on old. Man, I love she get some professional help. For real. But that no means I'm here come here come butter nobody but more clan more. That girl is a waste girl. Any woman do this to them picnic. Trust me. Should not be favored by society in any kind of way. But unfortunately, the society where we are living in, is a society where the devil are promote woman better than man. Hence, the perpetual gender wars. It now gonna stop because it designed to destroy the family structure. I don't then, know if you have so, if you have seen the comments on social media where persons are bashing you, saying you're a bad mother and you should be arrested. What would you want to say to the nation now, given what has happened? I want to tell the world I'm so sorry. Because I feel busy that the baby drop out of mine. I'm so sorry. I am a good mother and I will not do that. If I was in the right mind, I would not do that to my child. So she go back to contradict herself directly, right? I say, you know, if I was in my right mind. So basically she admit right there so. So she fling down her pain, you know. But in a one part, she has said the girl thump her in her belly. And she dropped the baby. So the girl fought. But she not even realized this is all. Subliminals work, you know. You will tell upon yourself without even realizing. See that you know. When it's when in a terrible situation, you have to be one of the smartest person in the world for focus in order to carry out that lie fully. A mass murderer will go court and get away. Because the witness say one thing then they contradict themselves with the other. And it doesn't necessarily mean they lie, the witness I tell either. But based upon when we sip on the tape, that girl is careless. No, bum no. Buck lot. Matter of fact, she free of charge. So much so that she could have done up an interview and rewrite the narrative. I'm so poor. And, and basically, I'm a product of my environment. Jesus, I just grew up poor and then my fight get to you and I just there. Well, I suffer, you know. She does a rewrite. The story, a majority of them gullible enough to believe simply because she's a woman, nothing else. And then the journalist right there, so you say, woman, always, you notice you find it. People are bashing you on social media. Can you find, so you know, you know, she has created sort of sympathy. And guess what? Believe it or not, in some cases, it work. You know, want to see some comment? Watch ya. All right, so the first one said, this young lady needs help. How can we help? And also, why is no one addressing the idiots who attacked and fought her with a baby in hand? Victims stay victimized. Shake my head. All right, so first me I got to address, how can we help? So me I talk about, what kind of help is your girl need? She needs psychiatric evaluation, but nobody now want to face that. That is why these things keep reoccurring. The type of mother they never promote in a society now as some demon. And them never change them ways unless people hold them accountable. What kind of help that woman you need? You know, say a mad girl this. Now they're ready for sending them money and create some sort of social media funding for help them. The problem here is not financial. It's psychiatric. That's the help she need. And why is nobody talking about the fact that the woman them rush around in their hand? Because that's now the norm in society. Who rushed her the baby in her hand? Man or woman? Who did it? All of them idiot girls were there, so totally wrong. But guess what? 
a real mother, you'd have to kill her. If you drop the baby, much less fling it down. So you can sympathize all in one, blame who start the fight with our baby in our hand, all in one, everybody there, so a woman. And until you start realizing them black people, the majority of them lose them. But my clock mind, nothing now will change. Same person again. Ultimately, the culture these women are raised in fosters this type of fighting. We don't need to argue about that. Solutions. How can we help? How can we educate our women to at the very least not want to fight someone holding a baby in bracket to restrain the fighters, mother included? Instead of recording, how can we help the mother with parenting classes? Because this child will not likely be better off in an orphanage. No, I totally agree. No child no deserve to grow in an orphanage. But you all look on the wrong things. You now look on the action of the mother. Now, parenting classes. Now, most of we grow up in the third generation. Our mother and father never had no such luxury. They have parenting classes. That's just another excuse for them, girl. Yeah. Fling down them, yeah. because guess what? We never get parenting classes. That's why we do it. What kind of parenting classes they want? Where is the maternal instinct? Somebody have to teach you for retain your maternal instinct. Who have to teach you for love the baby where you ball, skin out, and ball out? I have. I do agree with you totally. So people nowadays just record things and no one cares. But if that was a man, but grab him out by the arm, fling it away, one mile. Hear everybody in the comment section. That's why I'm glad to see a mother in time because everything is now being recorded. But when I girl them at the fucker, you don't want it to be recorded. People are wicked because they record it and show up the girls. Dirty, bumbuckler, careless, idiot, mama. Oh yes. Alright, so that one I say. We don't need to judge because a lot of us, when we are ignorant, Chacha, we don't even know, you know, what we are doing. Ignorant in a true sense of the word. And you can see that she has a lot on her head and she needs help. So instead of judging her root word, we cannot help her. No. Wanna see this on the screen? Cool. That's the meaning of when you judge somebody, when you form an opinion or conclusion about somebody or whatever, you yeah, judge them. Now, what helped us to form our opinion? Like people were basher, can bash them call it. People were telling the truth because that's what is bashing now, you know. Soon as majority of the time and somebody tell you the truth, it is always seen as bashing. But what we use and farm with opinion. Only tell me in the comment section. Was it a case where we don't know this girl? And we never watched the video, but we just farm with opinion based on nothing. Didn't this girl give us every impression and opinion of her based on her? Actions. So a lot of people come and say, don't judge her. When I use a word out of context, no judgment needed when you watch a video that helps you to formulate your opinions of this person. So tell me how we are judge her. Tell me. You see, when people just eager for comment, and you see that judge them, they might judge me. A comment section, them see all these words, and just go in other comment sections, go use the words out of context, you know. I want to understand how the world stay now. It's a follower world we're living in. Follower. All right, so the part is important. I want to focus. See? Sweetheart, I not lie. I am still so upset with you for how you put your baby in real life danger because that job could have ended your little one. But after hearing your story, I feel so sad for you. If we help you out with your living situation and get you a job, you need to promise us. Who is us? That you are going to raise and love your daughter unconditionally. I want a superhero that may love feel nice about the facts that them contribute to something and me help the person in their life. Anyway, I was one of those who went off on you. I mean, I lie, I break my heart when I saw how you dropped the baby. 
but let's see what's gonna happen after this all right you know where i comment like that proof how gullible people are i'll show you how powerful the media is you know everybody watch root word see it for themselves no cataract insight no kind of ophthalmologist needed and them get so upset because of what they saw with them eye the media so powerful that's when them watch that video there and say oh kill is that woman here is 21 year old big woman is them vex just like myself and when them watch a video with that girl you come rewrite the story country herself a million times them feel her pain all of a sudden them believe every word where she say you can't believe that she says some things that convince them that the things where them watch irrelevant we watch her commit the crime and she come on and carry a sad story and almost every single especially females buy her story let's see what's gonna happen after this her God complex that she in, you know, she just feel like, yes. ta da 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 ta na ta na na ta na na She fly down in her cape, ready to help. And the mentality that everybody have now. And nobody now give real support anymore. Nobody really supports anything these days. Anything meaningful. Unless them feel like them can be credited. For say, me, if I never me, that girl they wouldn't eat. If I never me, help her with her baby. And me, this, them just, if you don't have one real sad story, no one supports you. And that's true. Because no one will fly down now ready to help you. You don't help your family. And that's a fox. No one will have a foreign in your family call and I say, yo, look, I look a hundred in your car. You don't know things stuff and you don't know where you look some food. They beg too much. But when they all over social media, but every go fund me, I put in money because it makes them feel so good. And it gives five minutes to ignore the waste life. A majority of them live. You know, you're the one I know. That girl needs professional help and not punishment. We are too quick to judge without knowing all sides of the situation. She's a young mother. Oh God, see the one that the root word that them always use. Young. So automatically that means they're idiot. Who obviously require guidance and prayer so that she can have full support. There are thousands of young girls just like her facing difficulties every day without the right resources to help them succeed. This is a prime example of how social media feeds into propaganda to satisfy what the majority thinks. Don't punish her, help her. Yes, social media, that's been part of my campaign. Terrible problem. Everybody live them life based on social media. But, you know notice? You know notice the tone of the comments then? This girl needs professional help and not punishment. Hmm? You no see I make your bomb clock believe this. So that means you no believe. Say the fifty-year-old mechanic, where Kiki Canis Jackson, a Portmore, needs professional help, right? I never that see in the comment section. Strictly condemnation. Me condemn that city. Hundred year prison body boy. Hmm? Look a girl never wire, you never wise enough to see it, and you think you own her, and you end up killing her. Me personally believe that him for rat in a prison. But the girl ever fling her up in me needs professional help. The 50 year old mechanic, they need professional help to them. Because him do something unbelievable. What can be more unbelievable than a mother? We fling our pen up on the concrete, grab it up by one hand, as if not to care. Hmm? You retire your maternal instinct simply for proof. A point. At least the girl with the mechanic and never have daughter. But the girl yeah, fling her pen up on the concrete and grab it up by one hand, as if it's a dolly where well, can't feel nothing. But still, your comment says, don't punish her. Help her. All right, so you're the comment, you know. It's a matter of a woman not ram for back of her. All the perfect self-righteous people in the comment section shake my head. I hope none of you ever have to be beaten up repeatedly until your only help is that child in your hand. She's lacking so much. Someone to guide her not to do this interview without counsel.
the right formal education, emotional intelligence, not her fault. She's a product of the environment. Provide support and training for her and her child and watch what happens. The biggest mistake you're making at a comment there is for actually suggest say if somebody rush you and beat you repeatedly until you only help at the pin in your hand. Me don't know if me are overread, but this is a mad girl who just made a comment there. This is somebody who agree so that what this girl is, should I use her as a human shield? Hmm? Suppose the attacker had have a knife. Would that child still be your only help? Hmm? A woman I use a baby as a shield and you consider that as help? Are you fucking sick in the head? Well, disregard that. Because you sure say you're sick in the head, woman. We are a product of our environment. It doesn't mean we have to be consumed by our environment. No, it doesn't. So since she's a product of our environment, I'm going to ask her again. All these drapists, all these murderers, we should have let them off the hook. No accountability. Simply because them is a product of them environment. Hmm? The man them were causing you know, Fear says stop the killing of our women and children. Are they also a product of them environment? No, them are just wicked. Because they are man. You know, see the cushion when you provide when woman wicked? You know, see the difference? Hmm? Women are a product of them environment, but men are a product of the devil. Them simply born wicked. If this was a man, do you think these comments would have been the same? Tell me in the comment section. She never have a temp to get somebody where they are so, the baby. If every woman here, so for example, was our enemy, and all of them, including the video person, Russia. Our natural instinct would have been to try to give one of them, even though they are our enemy. The baby. That would have been the natural thing to do, and then you'd have seen the video when they refuse to hold the baby. As a matter of fact, I don't know if people had yet so cold yet, but she could have given her enemy the baby if you and the enemy would have hold the baby. I don't ask you. So don't tell me no fuckery. That is why the women them in a society now get worse and worse and worse. Them can't change because they are being aided and abetted. I believe she thought if she had the baby in her hand, they wouldn't fight her. Lord help this family. No one is perfect. I hope she gets the help and support. At 21, you are a single mother with no help. This must be helped. No. You are really dumb enough. For believes that people upset because she had fight with the baby in her hand. If she had fight with the baby in her hand, worse if she put herself in a position to protect that child and take every blow we come at her to protect her baby. I may have so much respect for her, but I don't really, really believes that people upset because she have her baby in her hand. Can you believe it? That comment there, and a lot more of the comment that I read, is just creating an environment of sympathy for this girl, you know. Because them all are rewrite the story in them head based on the facts the majority of women just cannot see when a woman wrong them and able to do it. This woman deliberately fling her baby on the concrete pan video. And where is the Jamaica Constabulary Force? I, mean, I think I want serious charges, man. No child endangerment that. Hmm? And they, you never hear so she get arrested. No time. Look how much man do some things, boy, when you look, bam! Police full them yard. Hold on, I come with any sympathy. This fucking woman is 21. She's mad with fuck can breed. 21 years old. What age you have to reach now for people who hold you accountable for your action? She needs parenting classes. She needs counseling. She needs this. She needs that. Do you understand how to get her on? Counseling and them things don't matter to get her you because they never grow up on that. A counselor is a body boy or a sodomite. I come and come chat to me now. I'm to them eat that bum buckler boy and get them and I'm to you. Who tell you someone need help? I'm to you. Itch. That's how that is seen. Get to a different ball game and I'm to some growing up. 
and them feed with the pies for years till we see the good things them as bad and the bad things them as good bright people are nerd and dunce people are hero that's how they get around well you don't understand it and most people fall victim to this mentality thus them result yeah self-pity we make a rock back pun but me i gotta tell you now you know why most people now condemn the attackers i tell you now again a true me attack god no swear attackers were females anyhow you didn't have a little boy we had 10 as part of the attacking crowd we attacked the girl my god have mercy a who grew him and and a sorry dirty world stay and them raise him same dirty man my telling about him that be a dirty man because he's a part of one crew a woman will rush a girl with a baby in her hand but there's almost zero condemnation because everybody were involved a woman get the girl some help and counseling then give her back her baby it's hard when you have no one in your corner all right you know, so life tough. Me don't know if couple of see couple things all over the place with. For example, um, a woman there with a man and the man have with them youth. You know, read the comment section in time there. No man no deserve to wrong your youth, not even them father. When things happen to children, the woman them just get so sensitive. It's when a man involved. Oh, would I never, never ever make a boy of my picnic by himself. Not even them father worse if is a daughter and that child got molested by anybody at all everybody just inner them feelings when the perpetrator is a man them woman they are say father will get him youth no deserve to run him youth because this is a daughter and he's a male them not just the picnic father around them daughter but that girl yeah we deliberately fling our people into the concrete. Deserve to get back our picnic with the government. Take away. Go on over there, man. Go look in the comment section. I cannot post every comment. Look and see the amount of sympathy. It is unbelievable. If I could have found some of them articles right now, I show you when things reach children and it concerns. Meals in any kind of way. Watch the condemnation. Watch the condemnation. No sympathy. Nobody now saying to get back in you. I make a proof to you now. What me just a while ago. See? As long as the perpetrator, even the attackers, are female, they have sympathy. Wanna watch a comment here? I'm surprised people here so unforgiving. You never know what a person went through or is going through until they hear their story. Not this a person that even thinks that the story can be a fucking liner. You know? I'll show you how people gullible these days, you know. You can tell that this girl is not the average mother. Her entire existence might have been characterized by violent encounters. Read the subtitles. People live what they learn. Jamaica has a dark underbelly. People live what they learn. And that people that and that people that stick to knowing. You, know? you live what you learn, victim of your circumstances. Right? Everybody. Take her baby. She should go to prison. And only no know nothing about the girl. Wow. Why not say get help for her through therapy and remove her from the triggers in her community, which has resulted in the trauma we saw recorded. Women at war, we have an entire generation who are victims of trauma, who are today's killers for hire that are facts still. Please let us pray for a gentle society. Some of you in the comments pushing for her demise should stop listening to your own inner demons. Ask why. Focus yes or no. The woman, the baby, the videographer, all victims of an ailing society, a symptom of a decay in society. The woman, the baby, everybody, even who video it, even the people that never take the baby while she a fight, are all victims. You don't understand the mindset of women these days? Woman can't run. Hmm? The youth to them allege say, Kill Slikiana is a victim of society, too, you know. The 50 year old mechanic, where Little Canis Jackson, is a victim of them surroundings, too, you know. 
Hmm? So should we be let off the hook based upon the facts that we grew up in our society that molded us with a specific mindset? Hmm? A it turn we in a leader. Anything we are turning is a choice. If you turn a croft, it's a choice. It don't matter where you come from. No care. The ghetto. So I'm going to forgive every man and recommend counseling for them to know. Every man where they are jail right now for abuse them youth in any kind of way. Let them out. Since you don't have sympathy for the devil here, have sympathy for the devil right across the board. Man and woman. 